Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Denny. Today, we're gonna make an impromptu turkey salad. So, you ever wonder what to do with that leftover turkey? You can always make a nice salad with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Shout out to Miss Danita Louise for absentmindedly leaving her turkey leg in my bag. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Anyway, let's make turkey salad. Mm -hmm. So we'll start cutting the turkey first. So it's a big turkey leg. Let's just peel that off. So tender. It's smoked turkey, which is awesome. So that's gonna give it a whole nother kind of flavor. See? So you gotta be careful with turkey because it has all these kind of splintery type uh, bones. So you wanna make sure that's all out of there. I'm just throwing this stuff in the sink, so. But you see those, they're all through it. They can be dangerous. Choke you out. You don't wanna be choked out. <laughs> uh, all right. Cutting that. That stuff is splintery. See how that is so splintery? Let me move over a little so you guys can see. Mm -hmm. So this is so tender. You almost break it with your fingers like. It is hot out here today. So this is gonna come right in handy, a nice salad where you don't have to turn the oven on. Nobody trying to do that. See that? That would kill you. Who does that? Nice to have turkey outside of the Thanksgiving that's been roasted, cooked a little differently. This, I believe, has been sm smoked. And I'm gonna keep this skin because I like it. So it looks pretty good so far, as far as the bones. I don't know if they really call it bones. They might call it something else. Some kind of fancy word for it, but for all intents and purposes, it's bones to me and you. So, I'm gonna kind of chop that. Make sure you don't see any more of that stuff. Look. Careful, careful, careful. Nobody trying to choke. See that drumstick made a lot of meat. Might be a little more than a little salad. Oh, this meat. chopped up. I want to be able to have nice chunks. So we're going to put that over in the bowl. needs a little more chopping. All right. Okay. 
Okay, and now we're gonna start chopping some of our vegetables. So we have this nice half a bell pepper. We're gonna go ahead and cut that out. I like to cut out all the membrane and out of the bell pepper. So get that all out of there. I don't know if we'll need all of this bell pepper, but we'll see. Cut that in half. in our little holder. This doesn't break up sometimes, but oh, there we go. Means I'm not pushing down hard enough on the knife. Let's have a little orange bell pepper. Sweeter out of there. So orange bell pepper is awesome for color and it's also sweeter than your green bell peppers. Absolutely gorgeous, though. Wish I had more of that, but we're making it from whatever we have in the fridge already, so this is what we had. Onion. This is just some yellow onion. I don't think I want a lot of onion in it. Because the next day it'll be real oniony once the onion kicks in. We all need that in our lives. Just a little. chop that a little finer. I'm going to put a little of that. I think I don't want a lot of onion in it. Just put that over there. I don't think I want that much onion in it. We can always add onion if we want, but it's hard to take it out once it's in there, right? Oh, 
All right, guys. Well, the camera I thought was on, but it was off while I cut the uh, celery. So it's cut. So now I'm going to chop up a little. What is it? Um, sun dried tomatoes. They're kind of sweet, and I like to add them to things, especially salads and pasta. They just give it a really nice flavor. So I thought it would be nice with this smoked turkey. Okay, they're kind of sticky, so. Fresh parsley. fragrant and it gives your food a little homemade taste that's what I like about it parsley so you get it good and chopped so it'll go all through and through I wish we had some cilantro that would be nice in it also but again we're only using what we have available it's called refrigerator chicken salad turkey salad <laughs> okay so that. We also have some olives. I thought that would be nice. Some nice olives. I don't think I'm going to chop them. I think I'm going to leave them whole so you can see them. Alright. So again, this is what we call mise en place. Alright. So let's put the parsley in first. Add our olives and then we'll add all of our veggies hope this bowl is big enough all right so let's go ahead and toss that around a bit Oh my goodness, you know I love to stir stuff out of the pots. So this bowl might be too little for the likes of me. <laughs> but we'll see. Get that all mixed in good. Yeah, I do believe I'm gonna have to get a bigger bowl. I could see me throwing this all over the countertop as soon as I get the wet ingredients involved. Okay, so now let's season it. So I'm gonna put a little accent. Now remember, this is not a recipe, I'm just making it. So just this is not open yet, so let's use one that's open. Onion powder. Larry seasoning pepper, my all-time favorite. And Larry seasoning salt. 
told you I'm a Lottie's girl, y'all. I don't play when it comes to my Lottie's. All right. So now let's just kind of stir that around a little. I like to put the seasonings in before I put in my wet ingredients so that it can get all over all of our product here, not get clumped up with the mayo. See how that's all over? Okay. Y'all, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a bigger bowl, I know it. This, I'm way too heavy handed for this little petite bowl. So let's get a new bowl. All right, so we got my Auntie Betty's bowl. Rest in peace, Auntie Betty. So I'm gonna put that in here. My Auntie Betty, she could show cook, y'all. She used to make the best macaroni and cheese. Baby, you don't know nothing about it. She was a lovely lady. All right, so let's do our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna get a nice big spoon here. Put a little best foods. Like I said before, I am a Miracle Whip girl, but I like to kind of mix so it's not too sweet. We got our best foods. And then, let's get our Miracle Whip going. Yes. Yes, Miracle Whip. <laughs> you know, should not get that happy about mayonnaise. Miracle Whip or anything else, but you know how us greedy people be. So let's stir. I want to stir with a wooden spoon. So I'm about a wooden spoon. So we'll add a little at first, and then we can keep building. But like I said before, if you put too much, can't take it back. I took the mustard out, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use mustard. Too stiff for me. Let's taste it. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. We can use some more Miracle Whip, and it could use a sprinkle of sugar. Is what it could use. So we're gonna do that. Get a little sugar have another taste. Oh, it's coming around. Mm, that's pretty good. You know what it needs though. More of the miracle. More of the miracle. Let's put the miracle on it. Oh. Yum, yum, and yum.
They always say you have to choose between Miracle Whip or mayonnaise. People who like mayonnaise don't like Miracle Whip and people who like Miracle Whip don't like mayonnaise, but I like them both, but I like Miracle Whip more. Shit, I need a damn Miracle Whip commercial. <laughs> okay. Now, guys, I think we will put this back in the pretty bowl once we taste it one more again. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, said the people. So, that would be great with this crackers or on a sandwich or even better on a bed of lettuce with cucumbers and tomatoes, a salad, turkey salad on your ketchup, and your green salad. So let's move it into this beautiful bowl here. All I need to do is just throw this on the ground with my clumsy lace, clumsy ass. Uh-oh. Language. Okay. More seasoning pepper for aesthetics. Maybe we'll put a little smoked paprika. Why? Because we have some. And the turkey is smoked. So, that's, there you have it. Smoked turkey salad, impromptu. So I have these wonderful chips, these black truffle potato chips. So they're gonna taste awesome with this wonderful turkey salad. All right, thanks for joining me. So I have this wonderful bowl that my girlfriend made for me. And it says, made with love. Can you see that? Made with love by Denine. I don't know if you can see that, but it's so pretty. So thank you, Faye Doran, for the lovely bow. All right, so that's turkey salad in a pinch. So thank you for joining me. And remember, it's always delicious when cooking with Denny. Have a good one.